everyone and welcome. My name is Anna and I'm a visitor experience assistant here at Guelph Museums. For this month's history break, we decided to do something a little bit different. We are actually filming this in July, ahead of our reopening to the public, because we wanted to give everyone a chance to see what goes on behind the scenes while our doors have to be closed. Don't worry, we we'll still be hard at work even when we're working from home or right here in the museum. So what we're going to do today is we are going to do a bit of an exploration of the museum. We are going to take a look behind the scenes, see what's going on, and maybe if we're lucky, we'll run into some of folks who are working here and getting stuff ready to reopen. We can ask them what they have been working on. So everybody get ready to join me. I'm going to get all ready. I'm going to put my, uh, my safety equipment on. Um, to enter the museum, and every uh, good explorer needs a sun hat, so I am going to put that on, and I invite you all to now join me as we explore the museum. We are now in the museum. We are in the front reception area of the Guelph Civic Museum. We, uh, we're coming back here after being away for a few months, so we are going to see what is here, what's here to take a look at, and what everyone at home can look forward to seeing once uh, once we do officially reopen. And oh, what is this? Absolutely fascinating. Look at this exhibit. Look at all these instruments, all these devices. Wow, it looks like magic. What's it called? From farmland irrigation to Martian exploration. 125 years of physics in Guelph. This exhibit is really fascinating. Not only do we have some really, really amazing uh, devices here that, uh, that have been used in Guelph for scientific purposes for, for over a hundred years, uh, we actually did an interview with some of the scientists who did work on this exhibit. And you can check that out uh, from your house at home as well. So you can check that out. But my goodness, these instruments, absolutely amazing. Just wonderful. Okay, let's continue our exploration here of the Guelph Civic Museum. I wonder what else we might find. And oh, what's this? Another exhibit that we have here, 40 years on the FM dial, a celebration of 40 years of CFRU 93.3 FM. Let's take a look at some my goodness, I haven't seen one of these in many, many years. Look at that. Look at that stereo tape recorder. And it's been here all along. Wow. This one looks like it's ready to go on an adventure too. It looks like it could be spy equipment. All packed up in a suitcase. This is absolutely fascinating. And here, we actually have sound recordings in their natural habitats. You can come here, you can take your cell phone or your portable device, and you can scan any number of these QR codes on here to hear a real clip from the radio station. Now I'm seeing what appears to be a dark cavern coming up, but I think what it actually is, is the prep for our next exhibit in gallery temp one. We're going to be very quiet. It looks like the artifacts are sleeping. Wow, but look at this. Don't worry, we'll, uh, we'll put them all back, back to sleep again. We won't stay here long because it looks like they are getting ready to become an exhibit. But when we reopen, once you're seeing this, we will actually be open to the public and this will look completely different. This will be one whole full exhibit that you can come and take a look at. And this is all about our rapid response collecting. So all of these artifacts have actually been collected within the last uh, about a year here at the museum. But now we'll leave this gallery in peace as it gets ready to welcome visitors back to the museum.
Okay, we have made it up the staircase. Now it is one directional, so keep that in mind when you're visiting, but don't worry. We do also have an elevator for all kinds of safe passage. Now let's check out this room here. What do we have here? What an installation, would you look at this? Just remarkable. This is Resonance Wolf Chamber Choir at 40. Lots of 40th anniversaries here at the museum. That's so exciting. This exhibit appears to be all about music, all about the activities of the chamber choir. We also see the seats of the chamber choir set up, ready to once again receive their performers. Now it is very important when you go, come here though, that you leave them as is. Don't, please don't climb on them. They're very, um, they're very skittish chairs. You just never know what they might do. But all is quiet at the moment. So we'll come this way, let's see. We have the art, the posters from the chamber choir. We have some beautiful examples of their, uh, their musical calls that they make with their fantastic CDs. And of course the mask. Just because you're singing, you also need to be safe. And if we continue to come around this way, we will see one of the largest artifacts that we will see on our exploration here today. We have a bell piano uh, from the Bell Piano and Organ Company. Now this specimen is absolutely beautiful. We ask that once again, we don't touch it. We don't wanna spook the artifacts. Uh, we don't wanna damage them. If one of those, uh, you know, don't leave anything behind except for footprint scenario. We want to just leave everything as we find it. It really makes the room come to life once we have all the music playing in this space as well. Of course, it has to warm up before you come to visit, but when you are here in person, you will hear the beautiful sounds that the Guelph Chamber Choir has made. We are now coming in from the glass box to floor three here. And let's see, it looks safe to pass. Come on. This is really what you wanna see after some time of being away from your museum. You want to see things looking like this, spick and span. This area has not changed. The habitat remains the same. This we're very fortunate about. We have been able to focus on the other installations that have gone in. Now you may notice it's a little bit darker than before. That actually helps to protect the artifacts and of course, to reduce electricity usage while we aren't in the building. Now it looks like we have a feature exhibit at the end of this hallway here that you can come and take a look at. So rather than go through this space, because many of you will have seen it before and you can see it when you come here again in August, uh, but this way we want to take a look at, because this is brand new, we want you to come on down take a look at what is new in this space. We can do a little tip of the hat to James Gay, the poet, as we walk by. And here we are. Oh, stunning. Now this space, very interesting. This is a temporary exhibit called Memory Cycle, Resonified Artifacts. And as you take a look in here, you will see those artifacts. Now today, again, this space, very quiet as we prepare to reopen. But when you come here to the museum, you will hear the incredible sounds that are being uh, projected and vibrated through these artifacts to make it come to life. And we can get a sense of what Victorian life was like here in Guelph. Now let's come this way and see what kind of artifacts we can find. Of course, lots of pianos, lots of organs. We saw an example of one of those downstairs. These are all different examples, different species, if you will, but all fascinating. Over here, we have one of my favorite artifacts. We have 
this hair work wreath. These artifacts are stunningly beautiful. They take so much skill and ability to create. And they were family memorial pieces. They could be created in honor of people who had passed in the family, but they could also be created as objects of celebration to celebrate a wedding perhaps. Uh, and the stories in this hair wreath were, are just so rich. We also have, a, of course, a quilt. We have many different quilts here. Most of them are upstairs at the moment. They are nice and safe, put away, but we have this one out on display. It's always exciting to see the quilts out on display because they're just so rich, again, in artistry, in texture, in color. Look at all those fabric choices, just stunning. And we can really imagine what it would be like here in a Victorian dressing room. Just beautiful. Lots of decor. Victorians love decorations. They love to, uh, to be able to show off their spaces as well. We have, an, of course, another Raymond sewing machine here. And now we have some very interesting artifacts here. We have these birds. These birds are an incredible example of the popularity of taxidermy. And this was considered a science and an art form. Now these ones actually showcase 30 species of New World warblers and kinglets. And this is in fact not our only example of uh, bird taxidermy. We have a number of other pieces um, and even one more piece on display. So come on down, see if you can find the other bird taxidermy example in the museum. Now again, this exhibit right now, very quiet, very calm, but when the music starts, when the vibrations begin of the time period music, it really comes to life. Now let's continue our exploration of the museum, see what else we can find. And don't forget to come down and check out Memory Cycle in August when this comes out. You can come, you can see it for yourself, you can experience it all right here. archives. Let's see if we can find anyone inside. Hello? <gasps> it's a Justine! Come on, come on. Hi Justine. Hello. What are you working on here today? So I'm working on an ongoing project that's going to be an exhibit very very soon all about the Guelph Little Theater which is a community theater in Guelph that has been offering for over 85 years. So a really great, you know, local story of creativity in Guelph, which is great. Currently, I am just doing some scanning um, of some really great archival uh, images all about Guelph Little Theater. So yeah, it's all shaping up and uh, come see it in uh, August. In August? Yeah. Wow, in August. You hear that, everybody? We'll be back in August. <laughs> so do you use the big scanner to uh, yeah. to scan the archival images? Yes, yeah, yeah. So we can scan, um, you know, images that are pretty big. Like I can scan this entire uh, one in just one scan, which is great. <laughs> wow, that's so fast. <laughs> that's really cool. Uh, do you have a, a favorite artifact or anything that you've seen yet for the exhibit? 
Um, yeah, I think maybe one of my favorites is uh, we are going to have a puppet <laughs> um, in the exhibit. Um, it's a goblin. I won't give too much away, but um, yeah, so that will be really great for kids and uh, adults alike. Everyone loves puppets. Uh, there's also a bunch of masks that are going to be very much, um, you know, a really great draw, I think, in the exhibit. Um, they're really fun really kind of magical so yeah we're really showing theater on stage if you will <laughs> as a museum so that sounds so much fun that sounds really really cool all right so there's a goblin somewhere in the <laughs> building so we're gonna keep our eyes open for that goblin <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to us today, Justine. I'm so glad we found her in the archives. You never know who's going to be in here. Today it was Justine, so we're super lucky. And don't forget to come back in August uh, and to, to see the exhibit all about the Guelph Little Theater. Thank you so much, Justine. All right, bye. Bye. Now let's see who else we can find. find ourselves now here on the fourth floor. Now the fourth floor is where you will find some of our largest artifacts here at the museum. These artifacts can range from things like stoves and suitcase holders, uh, luggage racks rather, chairs to farm equipment and sewing machines. Every manner of large artifact can be found here in this area. Oh, now today, very, very lucky. We see the artifacts that were on display in the last exhibit. So if you missed our last exhibit, Guelph Circa 1999, here's a sneak peek, one last peek at some of the artifacts that were on display during that exhibit. Now let's head down this way and let's see what we can find. Some of the most fascinating artifacts that you will see are down this aisle. We have Guelph's first mayoral chair. This was used in City Hall by the mayors of Guelph. We have baby carriages here, tricycles and rocking horses. Now another one of the most interesting artifacts, one that's very unique that we have here at the museum, is a coffin. Now don't worry, this coffin is completely empty. This would have been an example for sale um, in an undertaker shop of a coffin that you could purchase. And we also have uh, an example of a wheelchair again. Um, now these bows are not part of the original artifact. They are to make sure that we don't bump into it by accident there. Um, although they do add a certain flair to the wheelchair. Now, this space here is a preparatory area. This is where we keep a lot of the things that need to be used to make the exhibit. But you'll see, we have everything from all kinds of technology, wires uh, and things like that, TVs ready to display uh, digital media. We also have lots of physical displays for the artifacts here, as well as a little bit more space for some of those artifacts that were recently on display here.
We found someone. Hello. Hi. It's Michelle. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Hi. How are you? Oh, we're great. How are you? I'm doing good. That's awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here today? Sure. I am the curatorial assistant here doing the photography of um, Walt Museum's collection. And right now I am taking photos of maps, but I can take photos of anything from a hairpin to a piano, anything that they need, big or small. Um, and then it comes up on here and I view the photos and make sure they're nice and focused so that anyone who wants can look at them online, the public or researchers. And yeah, this is my space. Wow, there's so many artifacts in here. And will you take pictures of all of these? Yeah, so I have a shelf of um, completed objects that um, the other team members will come take away and store into collections and locate. And then I have my in progress shelves here and here as well. Wow. And technical stuff that is boring over there. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the studio space. Wow. And so what is the, what's the benefit of the lights in the backdrop? Um, the lights are very helpful because they can make everything look good or even better than your eye can see. So we can see the little details and condition that the object is in, good or bad. Um, and it's perfect for making sure that we can keep track of the objects and where they are and what they look like. That's very cool. And then all of this will be available online eventually? Yes, all of these photos are available online for the public to see. Um, pretty soon after I take them. Wow. Yes. That's very, very cool. And what's the name of the program that you're working on here? This program here that I use is called Capture One. It is a cataloging software for photos. So we take our photos here and then you can see all of them on the side. I organize it by the year that it was donate, donated to us, and then I can crop and straighten it very easily in here, and then I process it out at certain sizes and dimensions right into our folder. Wow. That program. That's fascinating. It's so clear. I, look, I feel like I could just jump right into the map and yeah. then be there in person. More clear than it is in person. That's <laughs> amazing. Wow. What a discovery. Now, let, can we see the, this is the back of the map? Yes, this is the back of the map here, which we take just to mainly for condition issues um, and to make, see if there's any writing. Sometimes they have math on the back. Oh, wow. From who used it before. That's so fascinating. Imagine all the people who have used this map before and now it's here and anybody can use it once Michelle has put it up online. That's so cool. That's amazing. Awesome. All right. I think that we are going to continue on our journey through the museum, awesome. see who else we can find. But thank you so much for of talking course. to us You're today, so awesome. Michelle. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll see you again, again soon. Good luck with, uh, with everything in here. Thank oh, you. Good time. Thanks. Wow, I can't believe we found Michelle. That's so exciting. She's done amazing work in the photo studio. It looks so spick and span. We are getting all of our new donations ready to put up on the website for everyone to check out. Now let's see who else we can find. Now we're still up here on the fifth floor and there's this door here. Let's go through it and let's see what we can find on the other side. This must be the textile storage area. Let's see if we can uncover something here right now. And you know what? I think this one, I think we can look at this one as well. Let's open her up. Oh, look at the color. Look at those rosettes. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. It has a train on it and everything. That's amazing. Okay, we'll cover this one up again too. What a discovery. Amazing.
so glad we came up here. Let's see what the other aisles have to offer. The boxes have photos on them so we can actually see what's inside. We've set off the lights. That's okay, they'll go back off when we leave. Everything will, will go back uh, once we leave. Wow, look at these hats. These are beautiful. My goodness. Let's, let's keep exploring up here. What else might there be? Justine mentioned that the artifacts for the Guelph Little Theater display were up here. And I think I maybe just spotted them. Well, I sure hope that that's a prop. Otherwise, we have a goblin infestation. Wow, would you look at that? What a puppet. Very scary. Look at all these props. Wow, I can't wait to see her exhibit. This is going to be very, very cool. So good that there's so much space up here to get these exhibits all ready. And we have the new things that have just arrived at the museum. I think they'll fit right in. They look like they're already making themselves at home here. Wow. Well, I think that we have had a very successful trip to the top of the museum. We found lots of artifacts here, lots of textiles and garments. So uh, let's keep going, see who else we can find. We have finally reached the basement, the deepest point of the museum. Now there's usually something going on down here and I think I hear someone in here today. Let's check what's going on in the shop. Ah, oh, we are in luck. It's Frankie. You caught me. I sure did. Hey Frankie, how's it going? Good. Good, amazing. What are you, what are you working on down here? Um, right now I'm working on building a new storage unit for fine art storage. For fine art storage. What does that look like? Uh, this is the main base that we already had. And then I will build a storage unit on the top. Of on top. Wow. And so what will this hold? Like framed art or? Yes. The framed art from McRae and the new Guelph 1999. Oh, all of their stuff. Yeah, the new accessions. So while our doors were closed, uh, what were you working on? I was building dollies for all of our pianos and organs. Wow. Thank you. Because we do have a very extensive, extensive collection of pianos and organs, and I'm guessing they are hard to move without a dolly. Yes. Very cool. And so is this, uh, is this the workshop? It is. What kinds of stuff do you do in here? Um, I build different displays or repaint them and fix them up. Uh, we just recently did Guelph Little Theater uh, where I fixed up a few of the display boxes we already have. Very cool. What's, what's your role here at the museum, Frankie? It sounds like you do a bit of everything. Yes, I'm a facilities assistant. So I help with uh, curatorial, with exhibits, and setups for events and stuff. Wow, that's super cool. And it'll be so exciting when we're able to have events again and have those set up. But in the meantime, it looks like you have been incredibly busy while the doors have been closed. Yes, definitely. Wow, well, we are super lucky that we ran into Frankie today down here in the basement. Thank you for chatting with us, Frankie, and we'll... Uh, We'll let you go back uh, back to, to working around in here. All right. Thank you. See you next time. We'll see you next time. Thank you. We're going to venture in to this deepest, darkest space of the museum to see what we can find. Fortunately, we have found some light switches. Hi, Luke. 
Hi, Anna. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. You're doing more exploring, I see. I am. Yeah, we're getting ready to uh, to reopen. So we want to show people what we've been doing, mm -hmm. what we've been working on while we've had our doors closed. And it looks like we've been working on a lot. Yes, yeah. This is one of the projects uh, that we've been uh, working on uh, with the uh, curatorial team. Uh, so all of these items uh, that are here on this table uh, are things that were donated to the museum over the last uh, three years. You can see a huge variety uh, of things. Something that connects all of these objects together is they were all made in Guelph uh, or used in Guelph or have a particular connection or uh, tell a story uh, about uh, our city here. Uh, so everything from uh, beer taps uh, from local uh, breweries uh, to hand tools uh, that were used in a local uh, bookbinding uh, studio, matches uh, from, uh, from local restaurants, uh, carving uh, from a local uh, furniture uh, uh, artisan. Uh, and something that I, a particular favorite of mine here uh, is this elephant uh, from Imico. Uh, Imico was a, a local uh, industrial uh, company. They made a lot of uh, sort of brass fittings and uh, things for uh, for plumbing. Uh, but I uh, always love this uh, this decorative uh, little Imico uh, elephant uh, here. He's quite uh, quite heavy. You can see one of the things we're doing here is attaching uh, our little uh, catalog uh, tags uh, to uh, items uh, so that we uh, know where they are uh, when they're in the shelf. And you can see my my work list here. Uh, someone has already cataloged all the items, so that means they put them in our collections database. Uh, they've been photographed uh, by Michelle up in the fifth floor studio. Uh, and the last thing on the list is they need to be located into our basement collection storage area. So that's uh, what I'm doing. Wow, so all of these items will go into our permanent storage area yes. on like the rolling shelves and in that space? Yes, yep. These wow. Are all, all bound for uh, a specific drawer on a specific uh, compression shelving unit. Fascinating. That's really cool. And are so, have some of these items been on display? Would someone maybe recognize these? You might recognize some of the uh, taps. Uh, from uh, our exhibit, uh, Brewing Changes Wealth. Uh, so the museum uh, adds items to its collection in a lot of different ways. Uh, but one way uh, that I really like is uh, after uh, an exhibit, uh, members of the community will loan us uh, items uh, for the exhibit. We'll have uh, items on exhibit from our own collection. Uh, sometimes after the exhibit closes, we go back to those people and say, hey, we really love that item. Could we keep it in our museum collection permanently? Uh, and so that's the story with some of these um, uh, beer tap handles uh, is when the exhibit was done we reached out to the local uh, brewing companies and said we'd like to keep these so that's how they're here wow well we're so lucky that they said yes to uh to getting to keep these because these are really fun artifacts that relate really well to guelph that is really cool it's true well that's really exciting luke Thank you so much for uh, for taking a little bit of time to talk to us today. Sorry to disturb your important work you've got going on here uh, as we explore our storage areas. That's all right. Always nice to have a visitor here in the basement. Wonderful. Well, we're super excited to get to reopen, uh, to, uh, to have folks in again, to see our new exhibits, and who knows when you might see uh, an artifact that is destined for our collection on display here. That's true. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Thanks for visiting. Let's continue on our exploration. Now what we'll see as we turn this corner is rows and rows of artifacts. And I think there's some right up ahead that we can take a look at. Yes, indeed. We actually have in this area donations that are in progress. We have some wonderful examples of the local craft beer scene. Would you look at that? We also have some artifacts related to Guelph Pride. They celebrated uh, their 15th anniversary recently. Um, now, of course, it was established in 2003. So they're actually almost coming up already on 20 years. That's one thing that all of our artifacts have in common here at the museum. Although they all like to live in slightly different habitats uh, and may have different original uses and purposes, they all help to tell the story of this place that we call Guelph. 
Now we've already taken a look at some Raymond sewing machines, some bell pianos, but here we have another star of the industrial history of Guelph. We have Biltmore hats. Back in the day, anyone who was anyone had a Biltmore hat. And today we're lucky that we have such a collection of these beautiful hats. Now we appear here to be getting into more industrial artifacts again, much larger artifacts. And I believe, yes, I'm correct. Over here, we have even further shelves of artifacts. Look at those. Now we could go down this aisle, but let's see what happens when we turn this crank. Now this is truly remarkable. Just an incredible invention. This allows us to move hundreds, if not thousands of pounds of artifacts all at once. And there's only one person moving them. And now I can open up this aisle for us to take a look at here. Now these artifacts might be skittish. These ones don't always get uh, to be out in the light of day as much as some of their counterparts, but they're no less important. All of the artifacts that we have in our collection help to tell the stories of the wealth. They help us to learn more information. They help researchers as well. Just because something's not on display doesn't mean you can't come and ask to take a look at it. You can also search almost our entire collection online to see what we have. A loom! I love a loom. Oh, and a good swift. You can't go wrong with a good swift. What a lucky day we are having here today with these artifacts. So many gems. Some of these you might even recognize. We've got a good old fashioned Hoover here. Now I think that we have almost, oh no, what's over here? The globe from the Guelph Mercury building. Just because the Guelph Mercury isn't there anymore doesn't mean that we will forget all the stories that they helped to tell. What an incredible artifact. We have some other artifacts around here too. How could I have missed the film projector? What a find. And for some of you who have uh, recall going to uh, the John McRae house uh, prior to the renovation in 2015, you may recognize some of these pieces. Uh, not the film projector, of course, but some of the furniture was owned by the McRae family and was on display. So don't worry, it is still here, safe and sound, being preserved in our collection. Now I was just about to go back upstairs and then I heard some rustling. Let's see what that might be. Oh, are we in luck? We are in luck, it's Laura. Hi, Laura. Hello, what are you doing down here? Well, we're doing a bit of an exploration of the museum. We're checking on what goes on behind the scenes, all the stuff we've been working on while we've been closed uh, to the public and what we kind of do to get ready for uh, for storage and for exhibitions and everything. And, uh, and what are you working on? I am putting away some of the new artifacts that we just got and have been photographed and now need to find a safe place to live so we can take care of them. Wow, very cool. And what are these ones? These are some of the military medals that families in Guelph have donated for us to preserve. So we have some really beautiful pieces. Some of them are a little bit older, but that just means they've been loved by the family for a very long time. And some of them are a lot shinier and newer. I have these ones that are actually reproductions of the John McRae medals. So wow. they look brand new. And those, those are the medals that are down at 
at McRae House, correct? Yes, yeah, so we have the real ones on display, but because of a really fascinating story, story with a shipwreck and some confusion with the family, we also have duplicate reproductions. Wow, that's fascinating. What a neat museum story. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't have too many medals with me today, but I do have a bunch of jewelry in that cart behind you that I was about to put away. Oh, we'd love to see you doing that. And is this something that you that you would kind of do on a typical day here? Well, of course. We have so many items that come into our museum every year, hundreds of items, and we have to find places for them to live every single time we get a new piece. So right here, I have some beautiful hairpins from almost a hundred years ago. Wow. And they're all safe and well taken care of. I just have to find a place to put them. So we have a bunch of other hairpins in this drawer here. Oh, they're beautiful. Okay, just look how shiny and lovely they are. Oh, they're incredible. And these are what people would have used a hundred years ago to keep their big fluffy hats in place and keep their beautiful hairdos up. Wow. They are just stunning. Yeah, they're so beautiful, but they're not my favorite. No? My favorite jewelry are the brooches. <gasps> wow. The brooches are the pieces of jewelry you'd use to pin onto your shirt, or sometimes to keep shirts closed, or to keep a shawl in place. So they're all bright and shiny. And lots of people had a whole bunch of different brooches that they'd wear with different outfits. I gotta say, I love those cameos. Those are beautiful. They're so lovely. And we keep them on these nice soft cushions so they don't shift around in the drawer and so they don't get scratched up. Well, that makes a lot of sense. We also have some really beautiful bracelets and rings. Oh, those are stunning. Some really delicate pieces like this. And because this is such a fragile piece, we've had to create a very special little board to keep it in place so it stays safe. Wow, very cool. And is that something that we would um, make right here at the oh, museum? Yes. I make lots of boards. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very cool. And I love this teeny tiny little ring right here. A little child's ring. It's so small. Wow. Mm -hmm. What a, just a treasure trove of artifacts here it's like our our very own treasure chest yes, to so keep everything in here. safe and this is where all the shiny pieces go oh well i love all the shiny pieces <laughs> you're really looking for treasure the piece that you probably want to look at <gasps> is this fun little tiara my goodness yeah. look Just at that costume piece but look how shiny it is it's so shiny. That's a lot of fun. And who might have worn that? That belonged to Miss Guelph. Miss Guelph. Miss Guelph. Oh, well, of course, Miss Guelph needs to have a tiara. <laughs> That's just, that just makes lots of sense. Oh, very cool. Do you have some more items to put away? I have so many items to put away. My little cart here is just a little tip of an iceberg. Wow, that is super cool. Well, Laura, thank you so much for uh, for talking to us today about what you're working on here. And uh, I'll let you put some more things away and uh, might pop back over and, and see again what you're working on in a little bit. That's great. It was exciting to see you downstairs. Thank you so much. It's fun to venture down here <laughs> every so often and see what we got going on. Okay. Thanks, Laura. Okay. All right. So we will now head back upstairs. We'll make sure that we turn off all those lights before we head out. And once again, we are here out in the sunshine at the Guelph Civic Museum. If you have ever seen these stairs and wondered where they go, now you know. They go down to our basement storage area so we can access this space. I would like to thank each and every one of you for coming on this exploration with me today, as well as all of the exciting people we found on our way. We hope that you are able to join us again here as soon as you can. We're very excited to show off our new exhibits that our team has been working so hard to finish while we have been closed. Now, if you have any questions, of course, always feel free to reach out. We are more than happy to talk about 
all of the exquisite artifacts that we have here at the museum. Thank you.